this is almost everything uh, I've got in my house. I've got a small table, uh, a normal bed with uh, also a TV, which I can swing into a computer working place. I've got on the other side a normal kitchen, I like cooking. And uh, up us, I've got an attic with some storage. I'm Pim and uh, I will give you a tour to my self-built tiny house, so welcome! We're now in the kitchen. Um, the kitchen I made of all um, kind of pieces of wood that I collected during my uh, building time. Uh, some of my old shelf in my uh, old living house. Uh, these are uh, all wooden stuff from uh, the uh, art school where I was on. And all those uh, details I bought on uh, Markplatz, a second-hand uh, thrifting website. For the electronic devices, I choose uh, A++ label, so it's uh, the best for the energy savings. Uh, I don't have warm water. I only have warm water when I cook it with a pressure cooker. So for, for, I, for example, when I do a dishwashing, I have to take first a moment to warm the water and then I can wash. And I chose for it because it's more mindful. You're more uh, aware of what you're using. Uh, and also if I wash myself or brushing my teeth or my uh, skin, I also do the same method. Then I have a shower back there, but I will show you later. It's just a normal bed, but I've also got a small TV over here, which I also can show to a computer, making here a workspace, and then I can work over here. So then, I can put this one in and make a table over here and I can work next to my window. The bed is 2 meters long and 1.4 meters wide. And then above you have like clothes. Yeah, clothes. this is uh, now for uh, books and uh, board games and that kind of things. Uh, my closet is behind you. Over here I've got uh, infrared uh, panels, they are for the heating. Um, eventually I'm not that happy with that, so I also use an electronical radiator, electronical heater, but uh, it's a nice uh, advantage. <laughs> so they're like more like keep warm, not to make it warm. Yeah, yeah, with a combination of them I'm uh, quite comfortable over here. This was an old uh, worker cabin. Uh, where they have their lunch breaks and I've bought it and afterwards I um, stripped everything down and uh, did some new isolation material in between and did those wooden planks on it and um, yeah the isolation is quite good so I'm happy and the window was there already yeah this window is here already I think because it was before also used as a food truck so there was an open hole in it and uh, I made a new window in it with uh, good isolation. So I basically ordered the window and built the frame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my normal table. Here I'm sitting uh, nowadays. And um, I also have this piano corner, but I not always use this one. So there's a space underneath my bed. Where I can drop it, and then I hear a noise. Empty corner, and here I can put my uh, rubbish. This are empty fruit boxes. Even this are as well, and I use them to um, make some shelves and stuff. And I sometimes get them from friends or colleagues, and then. I can give them a second life. Over here I've got the wardrobe. It's enough for me. But for my larger stuff I've got also this attic. And you can put everything you want over here. For me um, going to live in a tiny house was about to being more in contact with nature and also being more in contact with other people. 
Uh, my house is part of a community. Uh, I only have the uh, goods I really need on my own and the rest I share with my neighbors. So for example, the washing machine, uh, my working space, my bike storage, all are in this area, but not in my house. Uh, even when I've got friends, I uh, use the communal space to have them over. So uh, that's my living room. Uh, and on the other hand, my garden is as well my living room. Um, because uh, in, indoor and outdoor is in my house quite overflowing. Uh, in the summer, I'm always sitting uh, always outside, having friends over there or reading a book or listening to music. Um, and by having such a, such a large window and those open area over here, the uh, distance to the nature and to the garden is quite close. And that was for me one of the most important things. Even my house is a small house. I chose to have rather a normal or large kitchen. Uh, I like cooking and it's also uh, a way for me to make con a connection with nature. So the herbs we are uh, building on our land and the fruit uh, I can prepare over here and then via the compost it comes back in the garden and so I make a sort of the circle around. Um, over here is the bin for the uh, vegetable garbage and I've got over here a place where I can leave that. Over here I've got a warm hotel. I can put my waste into this bucket and then underneath you've got the worms and they are making it to compost again. They're very happy with it. And then you use that on the land? Right? Yeah, and this compost I can give to my trees and my plants and uh, then they are stronger and uh, giving me more fruits. Over here I've got a divided bathroom. Uh, I choose for this because it's another way to being more outside. Uh, every day you need to go to the bathroom, so every day you need to go outside your house and you're more in contact with nature. I'm using a composting toilet I've built myself and uh, the compost is uh, composting over here on the land. But the urine is going to a filter, uh, it's a reed filter and via different stadia the water is getting clean and we can reuse it over here and reuse it in the kennels and in the gardens. Here's my washing area and over here I've got a shower. I think it's 60 by 80 meters, uh, centimeters. Well, it's enough for me. The measurements are the bathroom is uh, three square meters. The house is nine square, square meters. It's two meters broad, 450 deep. And the space in between is also two meters by two and a half meters. So in total, I'm about 16 square meters uh, of surface. This space I use as uh, an uh, extra living room, especially in the summers. And uh, I eat here or have friends. And uh, it's also a nice place to uh, hang your clothes when they are washed. And uh, it's also the entry to my garden. One of the favorite places in my house is the garden. And um, we use the permaculture principles in the whole area. So also in my garden. And we are uh, observing the nature and then um, react on that. So we are not uh, invaders of nature, but we are living together with them. So, uh, for example, if those plants are coming over here, then we let them. And only if we want to plant a tree, we make a spare hole and there we plant a tree. And uh, in that way, we have lots of um, di different species and plants in our garden and the insects and the birds like it very much. I've got some fruit trees in my garden. I've got apple, uh, cherries, walnuts, all kinds of berries, uh, prunes. Uh, I hope it becomes once a sort of food, uh, food forest, uh, but we don't know how long we can stay here, so that's not sure. This is my favorite sitting area. It's always uh, shut from the wind and it's quite uh, in team. I also got another area, it's over here. 
here is a larger table I can have friends and I've also got the opportunity to make a fire pit over here I've got my herb area and uh, this is quite nice for the cooking and uh, I come here every day to get something and do it in my dishes for the night I live here now for two years uh, so far I'm quite happy with it uh, especially the uh, outdoor opportunities like being every day in the garden, having uh, friends over, being part of a community. I really like that. Uh, I think the building time was two years or something. Uh, it was quite harsh. Uh, I think not only the building part was quite enduring, but also uh, the uh, conversations with municipality and getting all your papers done. Um, yeah but on the end it was worth everything i think i've learned a lot of it and that's also important for me um, and it made that i can live on a way like this and i'm very happy with it things i will improve next time i think isolation is the most uh, important thing to do better um, i'm quite happy with it but if i want to lower my energy costs then still i can go for thicker walls better isolation materials um, maybe also not building my own windows but uh, buying already uh, designed ones so they are better in uh, isolation as well underneath my house I built these fences uh, they are protecting the house from the wind and they are also giving me an extra storage for uh, building materials and saws and everything and um, I also always collect pieces of wood and uh, planks to uh, be able to build something new. And that's also underneath this house. This was my tour and I hope I inspired you and uh, maybe we'll see you again. Bye.